High above Earth, two NASA astronauts have spent over seven months aboard the International Space Station, far longer than their planned eight-day mission. Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams launched aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft last June, but when thruster problems emerged during docking, their brief test flight transformed into an extended stay in orbit. As weeks turned into months, a controversial situation unfolded on the ground. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk recently revealed that his company offered to bring the astronauts home months earlier, but claims the offer was rejected for political reasons. This sparked an intense debate that reached all the way to the halls of Congress, with former ISS commander Andreas Mogensen and others challenging Musk's account of events. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of this developing story that touches on corporate rivalry, political tensions, and the complex reality of human spaceflight. We'll examine the evidence from all sides, from NASA's official statements about safety concerns to heated exchanges between key players on social media. Most importantly, we'll explore what this means for the future of America's space program and the two astronauts who find themselves at the center of this orbital drama. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX and space exploration. Let's dive right in. The morning of June 4th, 2023, dawned with promise at Cape Canaveral. As the sun rose over the Florida coastline, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams suited up for what should have been a routine mission. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft stood ready on the launch pad, representing years of development and billions of dollars in investment. The plan was simple, a quick eight-day test flight to validate the spacecraft's capabilities. No one could have predicted how dramatically events would unfold. As Starliner approached the International Space Station, the first signs of trouble emerged. The spacecraft's thrusters began showing irregular behavior during the critical docking maneuver. While Wilmore and Williams managed to guide their vessel safely to port, the problems couldn't be ignored. What started as a concerning anomaly would soon spiral into a months-long ordeal that would test not only the astronauts' resilience but also exposed deep rifts in America's space program. Behind closed doors at NASA's mission control, engineers worked tirelessly to understand the thruster malfunctions. Days turned into weeks as they ran simulation after simulation, trying to determine if Starliner could safely bring the crew home. The investigation revealed a troubling pattern. The thrusters weren't just experiencing minor glitches, they were showing signs of potentially catastrophic failure. While NASA publicly maintained a calm facade, assuring the media that Wilmore and Williams weren't stranded, the reality was far more complex. The space agency found itself caught between two industrial giants. Boeing, their longtime partner whose reputation hung by a thread, and SpaceX, the innovative newcomer ready to mount a rescue mission. In a dramatic turn of events that wouldn't come to light until months later, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk reached out directly to the Biden administration with an offer. SpaceX could launch a Crew Dragon spacecraft within weeks to bring the astronauts home. The company had already demonstrated its capability with multiple successful missions to the ISS. But according to Musk, this offer was flatly refused without even discussing the potential cost. The situation took on new dimensions when Danish astronaut Andreas Mogensen, who served as ISS commander during this period, entered the fray. From his unique vantage point aboard the station, Mogensen had witnessed firsthand the challenges faced by his fellow astronauts. Yet when Musk later claimed political motivations behind NASA's decision, Mogensen strongly disputed this narrative, creating a public rift in the normally unified space community. The truth, as often happens, appears to lie somewhere in the complex intersection of technical capabilities, budget constraints, and political realities. Dr. Phil Meir, a respected voice in the space community, offered a nuanced perspective. NASA's decision likely stemmed from multiple factors, including the $250 million cost of an additional Dragon flight and the delicate political balance the agency must maintain with Congress. Boeing's influential position in key congressional districts couldn't be ignored. An overt embarrassment to the company might have jeopardized future funding for critical space programs. Meanwhile, life aboard the ISS continued for Wilmore and Williams. What was supposed to be a brief test flight transformed into a marathon space station expedition. In a poignant video call back to Earth, SUNY Williams revealed the human cost of their extended stay. Eventually, we want to go home. We left our families a little while ago. 
Her words carried the weight of seven months of separation from loved ones, seven months of uncertainty about their return. The situation reached a critical turning point on August 24, 2023. After exhaustive ground tests, NASA finally acknowledged publicly what many had suspected. Starliner was not safe to bring the crew home. The decision was made to return the spacecraft empty, leaving Wilmore and Williams to wait for a ride home aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon. The drama of Starliner's unmanned return flight on September 6 only reinforced the wisdom of this decision. During the crucial undocking maneuver, one thruster failed completely. While NASA downplayed the incident, it marked yet another in a series of problems that had plagued the mission. Four hours later, as Starliner prepared for re-entry, another thruster malfunction emerged. The spacecraft managed to land safely in New Mexico, but the persistent technical issues raised serious questions about Boeing's readiness to transport astronauts. The most frustrating aspect of the investigation was that engineers never got the chance to fully understand what went wrong. The service module, which housed the problematic thrusters, was designed to burn up during re-entry. Critical evidence literally went up in flames, leaving NASA and Boeing to piece together the puzzle from limited data. The political aftermath intensified in early 2024. Speaking at CPAC, Musk painted a picture of broader conflicts between his companies and the Biden administration, pointing to ongoing Department of Justice litigation over SpaceX's hiring practices. Those astronauts were supposed to be up there for eight days, and now they're up there for eight months, Musk stated. We obviously could have brought them back sooner, but they didn't want anyone who supported President Trump to look good. The controversy has exposed deeper fissures in America's space program. The commercial crew program was designed to foster competition and innovation, with multiple providers ensuring reliable access to space. Instead, it has become a battleground where technical achievements are sometimes overshadowed by political considerations and corporate rivalries. As we near the scheduled March 2024 launch of SpaceX's Crew-10 mission, which will finally bring Wilmore and Williams home, questions linger. The delay of their return wasn't just about technical problems or budget constraints. It revealed how the complex interplay of corporate interests, political pressures, and safety considerations can impact even the most straightforward space operations. For Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, their extended stay aboard the ISS will soon come to an end. Their professionalism throughout this ordeal has been remarkable, maintaining focus on their scientific duties despite the uncertainty surrounding their return. Their experience has become a powerful reminder that in space exploration, the human element, both in terms of safety and personal sacrifice, must always remain paramount. The legacy of this mission will likely influence NASA's approach to commercial partnerships for years to come. As new players enter the space industry and competition intensifies, the balance between innovation, safety, and political considerations becomes increasingly critical. The story of these two astronauts, whose routine test flight became an unprecedented eight-month stay in space, serves as both a warning and a lesson about the challenges facing America's space program. When Wilmore and Williams finally step foot on Earth again, they'll have spent nearly 10 months in orbit, far longer than any test flight crew in history. Their journey has become more than just a technical milestone. It's a testament to human adaptability, a case study in the complexities of modern space operations, and a reminder that in the end, the success of our space program depends not just on rockets and spacecraft, but on the wisdom of the decisions we make on the ground. The question now isn't just about what went wrong with Starliner's thrusters or why SpaceX's offer of assistance was declined. It's about how we ensure that future missions prioritize astronaut safety and mission success over political considerations and corporate rivalries. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, the lessons learned from this mission must inform how we move forward, not just in technical terms, but in how we manage the increasingly complex relationship between government agencies, private companies, and the brave individuals who risk their lives to advance human presence in space. As Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams prepare for their long-awaited return to Earth, their story reminds us that space exploration isn't just about technology, it's about people. Whether SpaceX's offer to bring them home earlier 
was rejected for budgetary reasons or political considerations, one thing remains clear. Our journey to the stars must rise above partisan divisions. The true measure of success in space exploration isn't just in successful launches and landings, but in how we handle the unexpected challenges that arise along the way. As we continue to follow developments in commercial spaceflight, stories like these help us understand the complex dynamics shaping our future in space. What do you think about NASA's decision? Should they have accepted SpaceX's offer for an earlier return? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the stories that matter in space exploration. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology and exploration. Until next time, keep looking up. Breaking news from the Elon Musk 24 hours. SpaceX's Starship Flight 8 is officially cleared for launch, with the FAA setting a groundbreaking February 26 launch window. This rapid turnaround just 31 days after Flight 7 could mark SpaceX's second consecutive monthly launch, showcasing the incredible pace of their reusable rocket program. But that's not all making waves in the space industry today. Elon Musk has sparked intense debate with his bold proposal to deorbit the International Space Station by 2027, three years ahead of NASA's schedule. Meanwhile, NASA itself is celebrating a major milestone as the SLS side boosters for the Artemis II mission stand fully stacked, bringing us one step closer to returning humans to the moon. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Today, we're bringing you exclusive coverage of these groundbreaking developments that are reshaping the future of spaceflight. Let's dive right in. Building on our opening story, we're witnessing a historic moment in space exploration that few could have imagined possible just a few years ago. Picture this. In the pre-dawn darkness at Starbase, Texas, engineers are making final preparations for what could be SpaceX's most ambitious launch yet. The massive Starship Flight 8 stands ready, gleaming under the floodlights, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The FAA's official confirmation for a February 26 launch wasn't just another regulatory approval. It was a moment that sent waves of excitement through the entire space community. The story behind the speed. The pace of development has been nothing short of extraordinary. Just 31 days after Flight 7 touched down in the Pacific, SpaceX is ready to launch again. This isn't just about breaking records. It's about rewriting the rules of what's possible in spaceflight. For the teams working around the clock at Starbase, each day brings new challenges and breakthroughs. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, shared one SpaceX engineer, speaking on condition of anonymity. The atmosphere here is electric. Everyone knows we're part of some